fiscal policy can choose a point on the Phillips curve, or it could also create automatic stabilizers, which might shift the whole Phillips curve. We'll go through some of the equations of aggregate expenditure. Start with a really stripped down aggregate expenditure model. No foreign sector. AE equals C plus I plus G. We have our usual consumption equation, C equals C naught plus B Y D, where Y D is disposable income. I, G, and T are each set at some exogenous level, I naught, G naught, T naught. We do the usual bit of algebra. The details are up in that gray box. Solve Y equals one over one minus B times all our terms involving the naught. The multiplier, showing how much y changes with changes in i, is going to be 1 over 1 minus b. So if b were 80%, then the multiplier is going to be 5. We've done all this before. Now suppose we have some countercyclical government spending. That means that as income goes down in a recession, the government spends more, things like un paying unemployment benefits. Model that as g equals g naught minus little g y. Little g will be between 0 and 1. Leave everything else the same. Keep it simple. Solve that out. Now we collect terms involving y on the left-hand side. That little g y term comes over, changes sign as it crosses the equal sign. Make sure to remember. Then we divide through. Now solve y equals 1 over 1 minus b plus g times all our terms involving the naught. The term with little g is going to make the multiplier smaller. If b were 80% and g were 5%, then the multiplier goes down from 5 to 4. That makes the economy more stable. Now add in both countercyclical g and countercyclical t. The idea is when people make more money, they pay more tax, which you all know if you've gotten a raise at work and notice that your take-home pay doesn't change as much as you hoped. We formalize that in the equation t equals t naught plus little t y, where little t is between 0 and 1. That's the tax rate. Otherwise, it's the same model as before. Now, when you collect terms, there's a b y t term where the B, the marginal propensity to consume, multiplies by the tax rate, little t, since people's consumption decisions depend on disposable income, which is income after tax. Now the multiplier is 1 over 1 minus B plus G plus BT, which all combine to make the multiplier even smaller. For example, if B is 80%, G is 5%, T is 25%, then the multiplier goes all the way down to just 2.2, down from 5 before the automatic stabilizers.